Hello everyone! In our trip in Egypt, we bought some really cool papyruses. So I proposed Dennis to try to make some frames for them. We did not find so many results on YouTube, so we thought of making some tutorials. We tried different techniques on how to frame a papyrus. This is our first result. And then we have two more. We have this one with the king rock, bigger than the previous one. And we have a huge one with the famous scene with the Tutankhamun and his wife. So come with us to check how we did it. Hello everyone, welcome to our apartment workshop that you most probably already know. So to start framing those papyruses, we first need some MDF or some cardboard that will be as a support for a papyrus itself and some polycarbonate sheet also known as plexiglass or you can also use normal glass. For the first type of frame where the papyrus edges will be completely covered, we mark a piece of MDF that has exactly the same size as the papyrus. For the second type of frame where the papyrus edges will be seen, I will mark the MDF piece at about 4 cm larger than the papyrus. This means 2 cm more on each side. Now it's time to cut the MDF pieces. I will use a table saw, but I'm pretty sure that not everyone is so crazy to keep one of these in the apartment. Therefore you can use any hand saw, or if your MDF sheet is thinner, you can even cut it with a cutter blade. Plexiglass. It should have exactly the same size as the MDF pieces. For this I will also use the table saw, but any small good hand saw or cutter blades can be used if the plexiglass is not so thick. Now I'll prepare some small wood bars. I will cut them at about 1 cm width, it doesn't need to have any specific dimensions and it can also be bought from any brick or store. I have prepared here a hand cutting template which has some 45 and 90 degrees markers. Using the wood square bars that I've cut before, I will create a frame around the MDF board. Those are the four edges of the subframe. Before fixing them together, I give them some sanding using 120 grit sandpaper. To put the frame together, I will use some D2 wood glue with fast dry and some staples. You can use any kind of staples, even the ones for paper and a small hammer. This thing should give the frame an extra reinforcement.
be using some wood and decorative profile to make the front end of the frame. I will cut the pieces to 45 degrees to merge them nicely, like I did with the subframe. In this case, I will mark the long edge of them before cut since their exterior will match with the subframe exterior. The first piece is done and you can see this interior edge that will keep the papyrus block in the front. When you're buying this wooden profile, you have to consider some material loss since you have to cut the 45 degrees angle on a specific edge of the profile. This doesn't apply if the profile is symmetrical as it was the square subframe. Now the frame sides can be glued together. We will paint this frame using some gold spray paint. You can do whatever you want or whatever it matches your papyrus or photo that you want to frame. While this paint will dry, we'll move to the other frame. As in the previous case, first we need to cut the subframe sides. For this subframe assembly, we will use some corner clamps. After the glue has dried, we move forward with the front end of the frame. Because those wooden profiles are a bit wider than the first ones, we will make the front end a bit bigger than the subframe.
After cleaning a bit around, it's time to glue the front end over the subframe. While the glue on this one is drying, let's check the other frame, the paint must have been dried already. I'm putting the frame facing downwards over a cloth so it doesn't scratch. And I'm taking off the plexiglass protection film from one side. Then I'm fitting the plexiglass inside the frame and I'm taking off the second protection film. Afterwards I'm trimming the edges of the papyrus, I'm fitting it inside the frame and I'm putting the MDF plate over it. The last step for this frame is to put some nails on the back that will hold the plexiglass, papyrus and NDF sheet in place. And here is the result, the first papyrus is framed and this is how it looks like. Now let's get back to the other frame. For this one I have painted the MDF with a black paint spray and Julia will paint the frame with a gold paint spray. The paint has dried, I'm using a cloth with some nitro solvent to make the paint looking a bit retro. And now it's time for the final assembly. As we did with the other frame, first we place the plexiglass, then the papyrus and then the MDF and some small nails. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope that you have enjoyed our video and that at least one of these three papyrus frames can inspire you. Keep in mind that you can use the same techniques to frame any photo or painting as well. Don't forget to subscribe and check out the other videos that we have uploaded. See you soon!